Welcome back to the garage. It's time for another token teardown. New here? We rolled a crypto project into the bay, hoist it up, and check what's under the hood. Is it a Shelby Raptor R with a Whipple supercharger, or just an F-150 with a loud exhaust faking the speed? Today's ride? I-O-T-A. And yes, Garage Gang, we're dropping price predictions later. But first, we gotta see if this thing's even worth parking in our garage. Before we pop the hood, smash that like, hit follow, and share this with your crypto crew, even that guy at work who swears crypto's a scam. We break it down for everyone. Crypto pros, grandma baking cookies, even your mechanic buddy with the flip phone who ignores your texts. IOTA's pit crew, no random gearheads. Dominic Sheener, teenage hustler from Italy, co-founded IOTA at 19, now chairs the foundation in Berlin. Dr. Sergei Popov, Brazilian math genius, wrote the Tangle white paper. David Sonstabo, Norwegian visionary, pitching the machine economy dream. And Sergei Ivancheglo, aka CFB, coder legend from NXT, cranking out IOTA's early code. But this crew had drama. 2017, researchers exposed flaws in IOTA's custom crypto. One founder didn't say thanks. They threatened lawsuits. Trust took a hit. 2019, Sergey bolted after token fights. 2020, Sunstabo got pushed out for conflicting interests. Then, the Trinity Wallet hack. Hackers slipped bad code into a third-party library, draining user funds. The foundation hit the brakes, paused the whole network by shutting off the coordinator for a month. No transactions moved. They rebuilt Trinity, yanked the bad code, built a migration tool for new seeds, and cops even nabbed a suspect. Ugly, but it showed they'd fight for users, even if it screamed centralization risks. Sheener steadied the ship, and they kept wrenching. Let's roll on. IOTA is a layer one protocol. Think of it as the main highway where everything runs, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, handling transactions and security from the ground up. No middleman chains needed. But IOTA does it different. Most blockchains, they're like single lane drag strips. Cars line up, miners wave them through, and you pay a toll every lap. IOTA, it flips the script. The tangle's a web of lanes. Every new car checks two ahead before rolling. More cars mean faster, safer traffic. No miners, no tolls, no gas fees. Your node does a tiny proof of work to stop spam while confirming two others. That's the tangle's magic. Who gets paid? With 2025's rebased upgrade, IOTA introduced staking. It's delegated proof of stake. Hold tokens, delegate to validators, and earn from inflation. Validators keep the roads smooth, stakers fuel them, and everyone gets yield. Tokenomics? That's the fuel system. Tank size, mix, whether it guzzles or sips. IOTA started with 2.78 billion tokens. From 2023 to 2025, they added 1.82 billion more over those years, hitting 4.6 billion total. That inflation funds staking and builders. The risk? Sell pressure. The bet? Adoption outpaces dilution. Upgrades? Chrysalis in 2021 rebuilt the chassis. Shimmer in 2022 was the test track for NFTs and contracts. Stardust in 2023 added tokenization and digital IDs. Rebased in 2025? That's the Whipple supercharger. Staking 50k TPS sub half second finality. Starfish? The NOS kit, claiming 150k TPS, but still unproven. Ecosystem, Jaguar Land Rover tested car wallets. Bosch and VW trialed sensors and charging. The EU's piloting EV battery passports. Africa's logging supply chain docks. Dell tested data integrity. On the crypto side, Shimmer's DeFi with Swirl and Tangle Swap. Dexes like Pools Finance on Rebased. Magic C on IOTA EVM. Lending with deeper finance, stablecoins via virtue money, and Pyth price feeds for real-world data. Fun stuff? IOTA Heroes, a blockchain RPG. Send heroes on quests, auto airdrop loot, hatch new characters. And memes? r slash IOTA memes roasts core decide delays, Bosch deals, and hodl vibes. This garage is heating up. All right, let's talk speed. Right now, IOTA's clocking in at 50,000 TPS live, with sub-second finality. 
Starfish is promising 150,000, but it's still on the dyno, not proven yet. For comparison, Solana, the fastest confirmed chain out there, running 800 to 1,000 TPS live, spiking near 5,000, with a theoretical ceiling of 65K. ICP's right behind, steady at 1,000, bursting past 25,000, and aiming for 200K. In garage terms, think of it this way. Bitcoin's like that vintage charger, slow, but iconic, you know? Ethereum's the 1970 Chevy 454 big block V8, raw power, but it guzzles gas like crazy. Solana's your turbo dragster, blazing fast, but a bit fragile under pressure. ICP's the rally racer, steady on the turns with surprising bursts of speed. And IOTA, it's the Shelby Raptor R with the Whipple supercharger, delivering 50K TPS today. And if Starfish delivers, that's NOS potential pushing it to 150K. Now, the narrative around IOTA, back in 2017, it was IOT hype royalty. Then DeFi and NFTs came along and stole the spotlight. But now, IoT, AI, and DPIN are getting hot again. If IoT can bridge devices, data, and DeFi, this story could really catch fire. And here's what you've all been waiting for. The money. Lulu's numbers. Imagine the whole crypto market hitting a $20 trillion cap. First, cruise control. IoT just holds its current slice, 7 to 10 billion cap putting the token at one to two bucks. Then, 1% dominance. Remember IoT's all-time high was $5.69. If it grabs 1% of that 20 trillion market, that's a 200 billion cap, about four to five bucks per token, basically hitting that 2017 peak again. In this world, Starfish is live, DeFi's buzzing, and governments plus supply chains are all on board. Moonshot scenario. Mass adoption kicks in. Global IDs, smart cities, billions of IoT devices transacting. IoT could push to a 1 trillion cap, landing in double digit prices per token. That's the Raptor on NOS, passing Ferraris. But the Black Swan? If decentralization flops or rivals take over, IOTA could crash back to cents. And yeah, we've seen it happen from six bucks down to under a dime so choose your lane wisely. Time for the scorecard. Let's break it down one by one, starting with tech stack, 7.5. It's unique with that DAG structure, feeless and fast, but Starfish still got to prove it in the real world. Founders and crew, seven, you got this wild mix, a hustler, professor, visionary, and coder. There was drama, like crypto flaws, the Trinity hack shutdown, and founder splits, but they've stabilized. Token fuel system, 6.8. Inflation funds growth, and staking's real, but that supply growth drags a bit. Product delivery, 6.5. Major upgrades have landed, but core to side lagged behind schedule. Community horsepower, 7.5. They're loyal, still building, memeing, and gaming. Solid torque there. Narrative RPM, 6. The IoT dream faded for a while, but AI and DPIN could reignite it big time. Regulatory build code, 8.5. As a German nonprofit with UAE approval and even Sharia compliant, that's strong. Adoption mileage, 6.5. You've got real pilots, DeFi apps and games, but it's still early miles on the odometer. Alpha boost potential, 7.5. Down 97% from all time high. There's huge upside if it executes. Adding it all up, the final dino score, 7.2. It's tuned up and worth watching. Not the king of the track yet, but definitely no showroom poser. The Raptor's built. Now it just needs some serious miles. And that's the full teardown on IOTA. If you've got a project you want us to rip apart next, drop it in the comments. We read them all. It might just be the next token teardown. Make sure to check out gurucryptogarage.guru. It's totally free with real price feeds, our thoughts, and no paywalls. It's our way of giving back in the garage. So smash that like, hit follow, and as always, garage out, and most important, let it rip.